who actually runs the world documentary all of these financial institutions they buy politicians you can take this big ton of money and then you can start to buy people. Let me tell you, it's not the who is the president. It's who is controlling the, the wall. Right? So it's, it's the and who's that? Which ones? The banks. These guys are the I heard about BlackRock a couple a of years of ago. We released this legendary video BlackRock, the company that owns the world with over 3.5 million views. But back then, we only had secondhand information to go off of. Okay. But now we have this guy, Sergey Barley, a BlackRock recruiter exposing it all thanks to That's an undercover crazy. operation by James O'Keefe. First, there's the Senate. You got 10 grand, you can buy a silver. So now from the horse's mouth itself, here's a simple guide on how to actually rule the world. Yeah, SKG should buy BlackRock, right? SKG should buy BlackRock, right? It's gonna cost us 100 billion. <laughs> That's great. Like, probably 60, 70 billion. <laughs> 70 billion. Bro. Step number one to rule the world, you first need to control world. an obscene amount of money. See, <laughs> money gets wild. you to the big boys' table. And when you're at the big boys' table, that's where you can actually start influencing how the world works. Mm. Anybody who wants to go into politics, we're probably they're hiding all in the mountains. Puppets. There are 150, and they're all men that run the world, period, full stop. They That's control cool. most of the important assets, they control the money flows. And these are not mm. the tech entrepreneurs. Now, they they are going to get rolled over over the next five to 10 years by the people that are really underneath pulling the strings. And when you get behind the curtain and see how that world works, what you realize is it is unfairly set up mean, for them and their progeny. First order of business is, I wanna break through and be at that table. That's the first order of business. And the way that I do that is by proving that I can do what they do as well as they do it. And mm. then do it better than how they do it. Because at the end of the day, they are commercial so, human animals, okay? And they'll open the door out of curiosity and they'll let me stay because I, I add value. But it all starts with money. You acquire stuff. You diversify. I, I don't know why they put all like value and respect on money, bro. Money is an evil. It can be a blessing and an evil at the same time. Not gonna lie. Because, bro, if it's just a tree that you're cutting down, like, aren't they all other trees? You acquire, special? you keep acquiring, you spend whatever you make in acquiring more. Oh, you and know? at a certain point, your risk level is, is super low. Like, imagine you've invested in 10 different industries from food to to drinks to, like, technology, right? One, one of them fails, it doesn't matter. You have nine others to, to make you up. Right. Risk management is, is inherently just about everything. And mm. in the finance space, it's all about the money you make. You don't you don't let it sit. You're like, you keep using it over and over and exponential growth. You own a little bit of everything, and that little bit of everything gives you so much money on a yearly basis. And that's exactly what BlackRock did. Today, BlackRock has more than $9 trillion of assets under management. And you know what that means, that's right? Crazy. It means that if BlackRock was a country, they would be the fourth biggest country in the world in terms of assets, surpassed yeah. only by Japan, China, and the US. That means BlackRock is bigger than the UK, bigger than yeah. Germany, bigger than yeah. France, Canada, Italy, and they own a percentage of every single major company in existence. That is wild. So BlackRock is now in this position where not only do they have this incredible influence over every single that company out wild. there, but now if all they did was sit back and do nothing, they would still get a another half a trillion dollars every year if all they did was grow their assets by another 5%. Now that is power. It's why their assets under management is projected to hit $15 trillion by 2028. And now that you own a little bit of that everything, you now have this bird's eye view of the entire economy that no one else can see. Think about it, if you can see where money is flowing into and out of for the entire economy, that mm. is insanely valuable. So now it's time to use this advantage to make yourself useful to the governments. So useful that the government starts to become dependent on you. That's crazy. Aside from the public companies that BlackRock is invested in, like Coca-Cola, BlackRock also has their grubby little fingers yeah. inside of a bunch of private companies as well, to the tune of tens of billions of dollars. And this is with their private equity division. And why is BlackRock in private equity? Because private equity is where you're able to get in early on exclusive companies before they go public, before okay. they potentially go to the moon, while also giving BlackRock a lot more influence on the company from the inside. 
Like imagine if you got into Tesla That's just up. before they went public. That is private equity investing. Oh. Private equity investing has traditionally been reserved for giants like BlackRock who can write million dollar checks to private companies. And on top of that, the downside That's of private crazy. equity is that typically your money isn't very liquid. It's not like the stock market where you can just sell your shares whenever you want. So typically your money is locked in for years at a time, which is not ideal. That's but right. what if you could have the best of both worlds? What if you could get exposure to some of the most innovative private companies while also having the liquidity of a publicly traded stock? Well, that is where Stack Capital comes in, today's paid sponsor. If you've heard tagged. of REITs or real estate investment trusts, where you buy a REIT stock to get exposure to real estate, it's the same idea here but with private equity. Stack Capital invests in really innovative private companies like SpaceX, Hopper, Locust Robotics, and more. That way, if you buy Stack Capital stock, it would be kind of like if you invested into SpaceX and all these other companies as well. Except, since you're putting your money into a publicly traded stock, you can sell way easier than compared to private equity. Of course, this still comes with all the same risks as any investment, and I am not a registered financial advisor, but if you've been itching to get access to these type of companies, this I'm might be a good route for you. You can learn more about what company me. Stack Capital is invested in by scrolling <laughs> down and clicking stock. the link below. Scroll down crazy. and click the link below to learn more about Stack Capital now. From around the world. To the politician. Step number two, make yourself indispensable to the governments. Economic simulation. They need to understand the impact of something, right? They're gonna like raise the interest rate, for example. Mm -hmm. It's gonna create this cascade of various factors that are, they're not sure what it's gonna do, basically. This is where BlackRock's secretive financial markets advisory group comes in. Now, BlackRock's financial market advisories group sounds like a vague, unassuming division of the company. And on paper, this division does not even make BlackRock all that much money. But the secret division is by far BlackRock's most important. The financial markets advisory group does everything from risk analysis to stress testing asset valuations for groups like the European Central Bank, the government of Greece, and of course, America's Federal Reserve. And by offering services that no one else can provide to big business and the governments, BlackRock started racking up a lot of political goodwill with the most important decision makers in the world. This allows BlackRock to have a hand inside almost every major central bank and financial authority in the world. Just imagine the kind of insider information you could have at your fingertips if you were the one helping central banks around the world make decisions. Recessions, major market crashes, decisions to raise interest rates, to lower interest rates. If we already know that politicians have repeatedly done insider trading on these things in the past, it's safe to assume that BlackRock definitely knows about all these things well in advance, way before they happen. Especially when they're the ones helping these politicians make the decisions. Today, BlackRock has become completely and utterly entrenched in the American government, along with many other institutions around the world. The government asked BlackRock to help organize the sale of Bear Stearns after the 2008 financial crisis, they asked BlackRock to help with the bond buyback program during COVID, and BlackRock has even helped the Vatican get their finances in order. And That's when crazy. you've infiltrated governments this deeply, it makes buying off the politicians that much easier. That's crazy. That is wild. Buy a politician or two. Nah, that's crazy. Buying someone Step is number crazy. three, buy yourself a few politicians. All of these financial institutions, they buy politicians. Let me tell you, it's not through who's the president. It's who's controlling the, the wallet. First, there's the Senate. These guys are You got 10 grand, you can buy a senator. I'll give you 500k right now. Here's what you have to understand about politics is that even though they look and sound all powerful on TV, these politicians are nothing. They don't have any actual power, they yeah. are merely puppets. Most of them yeah. don't start out with any money. So, in order to get elected, they have to befriend wealthy donors like you. And when you actually get them elected, most American senators, for example, only make a measly $174,000 a year, which means these puppets are incredibly easy to bribe. Think about it if all you offer them was $500,000. That's almost tripled their yearly salary. So yeah. of course they're gonna bend over and take it. Five hundred thousand dollars for you is quite literally I chunk change. So it's a pretty good deal. But keep in mind, in the US <laughs> there are you know campaign contribution mean. limits. But don't worry, Probably because there are plenty of ways for a politician to receive five hundred thousand dollars worth of value from you That's without you crazy. actually having to wire them five hundred thousand dollars. Wink, wink. You just gotta get creative. And now that you have the politicians That's in your pocket, you now know. it's time to double down on one of the That's most like, profitable arenas: mm. war. That's crazy. Why they got a fun role, bro? Let's just get pissed, bro. Everybody just lead their lives. Profit from influence. I'll give an example. Russia blows up Ukraine's grain silos. Price of wheat's gonna go mad up. 
So what you're gonna do if you're a trading firm, the moment that news hits, within a millisecond, you're gonna pump trades into whoever the wheat suppliers are, into their stocks. Within an hour or two, that stock goes up, and then you sell, and you just made, I don't know, however many mil. This is fantastic if you're trading. That's why they say whenever there's a bad thing, there's a good story behind it. Yo, let me learn from what Boris said. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Gotta rewind that. You know, gotta get smart, you know? Mm hmm. Price of wheat's gonna go mad up. So, what are you gonna do if you're a trading firm? The moment. So, what are you gonna do if you're trading a firm? The moment that news hits, within a millisecond, you're going to pump trades into that news hits within a millisecond you're going to pump trades into whoever the wheat suppliers are into yeah, their stocks into their stock. within an hour or two that stock goes up. up and then you sell and you just made i don't know how many mil this is fantastic if you're trading a mil in a millisecond oh my day a mil in a millisecond nah bro that is Oh yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> News, bro. We pump all the money, bro. We rich, bro. Damn, bro. Nah, nah, nah. We're just gonna wait for the next news. What's the next news? What's the next news? I'm gonna invest into nah, you into. Volatility creates opportunity to make profit. War is bro good for, for business. It's exciting when shit goes wrong. Right. And that's not all. In June 2023, BlackRock announced it will be setting up a reconstruction bank with the Ukrainian government to help rebuild the country and attract private investments. That's and wild. even though BlackRock said they're going to be offering their help for free, this move will put BlackRock in the perfect position to get in early on all the best investments. Think about it, if Ukraine wins this war, it's safe to assume that America is just going to dump even more money into the country mm -hmm. to rebuild and take it over. And BlackRock will be in the perfect position to know about it first and capitalize. Uh -huh. That's why companies like BlackRock are doing everything in their power to keep the war going because the more damage the war creates the more reconstruction will be needed yeah. Ukraine is good for business if you own shares in Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Boeing just like BlackRock does, then war is great for business <laughs> if you have contacts in the government that tell you when Ukraine's grain silos are blown up or When America is going to sanction Russian natural gas so you can profit off of it, war is great for business. If you own shares in the companies that are eventually going to be hired to rebuild Ukraine, war is great for business. And from there, you're kind of set. Because again, if all you did right now as BlackRock was just sit back and let your money compound, it will practically be impossible for anyone to catch up to you. You'll keep getting more and more in bed with governments around the world as you continue helping them, you'll continue buying more politicians, you'll continue getting first dips on the most lucrative investments out there, and you'll continue profiting nah. off of crises as they happen. All you gotta <laughs> well. do is make sure you continue operating in the shadows, staying out of the limelight as much as possible. They don't want to be in the news. <laughs> they, they don't want people to talk about them. They don't want to be anywhere on, on the radar. Why not? I don't know, but I suspect it's probably because it's easier to do things when people aren't thinking about it. But let's be real. Even if the masses did realize what you were up to, they're not going to do anything about it. They're too preoccupied with TikTok paying their rent on where they're going to go out this weekend to care. Isn't that what they call like something circus, a Ponzi circle or something? They used to do that. So normal people don't give a this is, this is beyond them. So that is the cycle of life. First you get the money, then you get the power, then you get everything. What I said, sir, this country, you got And after that, they distract everybody, bro. This is how it is, bro. Like, I make the money first. That's then why they push the, the money, music so hard. The and, then we get the power, then you get the woman. I want to watch this movie. Is it? What, what's the name of this movie? I need to. I, I need. Yeah, I want to watch. It. That's why you gotta make your own moves. Bro said, "Stay dangerous." That is wild. Okay. That's why you gotta make your own moves. Stay dangerous is wild, bro. I think it's Scarface. Yeah, yeah. I gotta watch that, bro. Gotta watch that. But that's wild, bro. Now look at smart people. They ain't gonna cap, bro. To be a millionaire in a millisecond just based on a bad occasion, it's wild, bro. Damn, imagine you have two trillions, bro. A bad thing happens, bro. You have a 200 trillion. 
Oh my day, bro. You're rich. You're living life. Rich. That's wild, bro.